myself sudhakar barbade assistant professor electronics and communication engineering walchand institute technology solapur today we will discuss image sharpening operation using special filtering as we know image enhancement can be done using two different ways that is special filtering and frequency domain filtering but today we will see the special filtering how we can apply for image sharpening used in image enhancement learning outcome at the end of this session students will be able to apply sharpening algorithms in special domain for image enhancement contents in this session we will discuss basics of sharpening filters and the there are different types of sharpening filters out of that we will see the first derivative filter that is sobel filter in today's class now let us see the basics of sharpening filters sharpening special filters seek to highlight fine detail that means to highlight the finite details in the input image sharpening filters are used and the method used for sharpening is special domain filtering which remove blurring from the images that is sh uh, sharpening operation remove the blurring and highlights edges sharpening filters are based on special differentiation so let us see how we can see the special differentiation example this is what the input image okay and let us see uh, how we can find out the special difference of the pixels so differentiation measures the rate of change of a function let us consider a simple one dimensional example so for that what we need is we should consider this uh, line between point a and b and let us go from point a to b from that is from left to right and we observe that the uh, gray level from a to b is changing along this line for example here at the left most side the gray level is bright as we go towards this right side up to this point the gray level is uh, uh, decreasing and here it has become black it remains black up to this point there is a white spot here then again it remains black then there is a vertical uh, line here that is uh, white again it is dark and from this point onwards the gray value of the pixels along this line is uh, white so we observe that there is a rate of change of a, a pixel intensity from a to b that is represented by this gray level profile if you assume this pixel is represented by using 3 bits that means it has got eight different gray levels that is represented by this 0 to 7 and uh, if you look at this image strip we observe that here pixel value is 5 then next is also 5 then 4 3 to 1 it is decreasing okay and as we go uh, after one it has become zero zero means it has become now dark and after some uh, length the white spot is coming that's why it has increased to 6 again this white spot is over then again it remains dark okay so that's why it is 0 0 0 0 dark for more number of times then here this white line is coming that's why it is increasing that is 1 3 1 
again the it remains dark that is 0 0 0 and after that it is completely white that is 7. So, this is what the gray level pattern of the pixels if I move from point A to B that is from left to right. Okay. So, this is called uh, uh, differentiation. Okay. So, let us see the first derivative filters. The formula for the first derivative of a function in x direction is as follows. So, uh, there are different ways that, that means different directions we can find out the difference and this is a difference of image pixels in x direction. x direction means horizontally. Okay. So, this is a dou f by dou x that means uh, uh, derivative of function f with respect to x, x is a direction which is equal to f of x plus 1 minus f of x. That means the uh, first pixel that is f of x is subtracted from the next pixel along the horizontal line that is f of x plus 1. So, f of x plus 1, x plus 1 is the uh, position of the pixel uh, in the horizontal line direction. So, it is just the difference between subsequent values and measures the rate of change of the function. Now, let us have a question. What will be an expression for first derivative in y direction? You pause the video and answer the question. So, if you know the first derivative in x direction. Similarly, we can find out very easily the x uh, that means uh, first derivative in y direction by observing this equation. So, this is in x direction. So, what we have to do is dou f by dou y that is derivative, uh, derivative of partial derivative of function f with respect to y is equal to f of y plus 1 minus f of y. So, because it is in y direction. Okay. So, this is what the answer. Then we will see the how to implement the first derivative filters. The first derivative filters are uh, for a function f of x y that is a image, the gradient of f at coordinates x y is given as this is gradient, this do, uh, del f is uh, actually a gradient of function f, which is approximately given as absolute value of gradient in x direction plus absolute value of gradient in y direction. So, if you consider this uh, sub image of size 3 by 3, which are named uh, with pixels z1, z2, z3 up to z9. Okay. And how we can find out this gradient in x direction? So, here how it is done just we see. So, gradient in f uh, that means uh, del f is equal to absolute value of uh, g of x, x direction means uh, like this z7 minus z1. Okay. Then, here 2 z 8 because the weight associated with the center pix that means pixels which are nearest to the center are more. So, the pix uh, uh, weight associated to z 2 then z 4, z 6 and z 8 are very uh, that is 2 whereas, weight associated with z 1, z 3, z 7 and z 9 are 1 that is why. Uh, here 2 z 8 minus 2 z 2 just to look at this is z 7 minus z 1 2 z 8 minus 2 z 2 and z 9 minus z 3 this is gradient in x direction and again plus the gradient in y direction means we subtract like this that is z 3 minus z 1 2 z 6 minus z 4 2 z 4 z 9 minus 2 z 7. So, this is what the first derivative filter. If you look at uh, this is the Sobel first derivative filter based on the previous equation we can derive the Sobel operator like this. For example, uh, if this is a 
uh, this is a uh, x direction if you want to uh, get a uh, derivative in x direction then we use this filter if you want derivative in y direction we use this filter to filter an image it is filtered using both operators that is uh, in x direction as well as in y direction and the result of which are added together so if you look at this image input image we get by uh, adding the uh, processed image with gradient in x direction and gradient in y direction and we get this image which is an image of a contact lens which is enhanced in order to make defects more obvious so these sovel filters are typically used for edge detection other some first derivative filters are uh, this is a previt okay then just it is a here in uh, sobel the weight associated with uh, nearest pixels are 2 but in previt the weight associated is 1 then this is a roberts which gives you the gradient in diagonal direction okay and this is what the nomenclature given to every pixel in a 3 by 3 image so these book I referred for preparing these slides that is Digital Image Processing by Rafael C. Gonzalez and Richard E. Woods by Tata McGraw Hill Education. Thank you very much.